In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to add a video and edit that video in Keynote for a presentation. The presentation that I currently have up on the screen is one that deals with environmental justice, a topic in the environmental communication course. And it talks about the history of the environmental justice movement. Right after this slide, I would like to feature a video by Robert Bullard, who was one of the founders of the environmental justice movement. I've already downloaded the video, and it's on the computer, so I'm ready to add it to the keynote presentation. To do that, I begin by adding a new slide. And the new slide that I have, I want it to be a blank slide. Now once you have a blank slide, we need to insert the video. Under the menu at the top of the screen, select Insert, Choose. Now you will have to find the folder that has your video in it, and mine happens to be in Chapter 8, and the video I'm looking for Robert Bullard and choose insert. Notice that this high definition video is actually larger than the slide. So we can scale down the video by clicking on the lower right hand corner and drag down the video until it fits our slide. You can click on the video to move it around to place it I need to make it a little bit smaller and then to center the video just watch for the yellow lines and when you see the vertical and horizontal line the video is centered. With the video selected we need to take a look at the media inspector which is here our inspector. If yours is not showing you can click on this icon which toggles on and off the inspector. With the video selected, we need to click on QuickTime. And we'll see this menu. And there's a couple of things here on this menu that we need to do. Uh, personally, I do not like the video to begin playing on its own. I like it to play when I click. So we check this box, Start Movie on Click. I'm also not using the entire video clip, only a portion of the video clip. And we can choose here where to start and where to stop the video. I want the video to begin at the beginning, so I'll move this to the beginning. But I want the video to end at 135 I'm sorry 124 about there and I know that because I previewed the video earlier and looked at where I wanted it to begin and where I wanted it to end to test the video we can just hit the play button there's our slide and on click it will play the video. Well the environmental justice movement is uh, as a movement is relatively new uh, although there were lots of isolated struggles uh, that occurred uh, in this country um, prior to 1982 for example uh, that's usually the date that's given for the birth of the movement in Warren County, North Carolina. Um, there were lots of uh, struggles around pesticides and farm workers, around uh, communities that were struggling uh, against highways being built through their communities and with uh, petrochemical plants, etc. But it was not until Warren County, where that PCB landfill, that toxic waste uh, landfill, was placed in the middle of this uh, predominantly black uh, county. Uh, and residents in that community said no, and we started to get 
people from all over the country, uh, led by uh, Reverend Ben Chavis, who at the time was the um, executive director of the Commission for Racial Justice at the United Church of Christ, that began to galvanize people and attracted lots of folks to Warren County and to protest that landfill and to talk about this whole idea of environmental injustice and environmental racism. There we go. It stopped right where I wanted it to end. Hit the escape button on the keyboard and that'll take us back into the editing mode. And so now we have a video clip in our keynote presentation. The last thing you want to do and the one that you do not want to forget is under the file menu choose save or from your keyboard command s and it's that easy to insert and edit a video in your keynote presentation